completely different than trying to be a bobsled athlete. So for track and field, I have to be light and fast. Lola Jones. Jones over the last couple flights, moving through, taking that one. For bobsled, I needed to be a powerful, just basically a block of muscle. <laughs> Lola Jones on the back handle. In track and field, I'm more of the driver. I had control of my angles and how I'm going to overcome each hurdle. And for bobsled, I needed to be the engine. I've been passenger in a bobsled, so now I get actually to see what it's like to control that speed. And I am just so thrilled to be able to like have that intense moment and see what these drivers feel like, all the calculations that they're doing. Are there any similarities to what I face when I'm running over 10 hurdles in under a second at blitz speed? Like, will those reactions translate in any way to this super fast car? I feel like I'm a good athlete because I've had a great coach, so I'm excited to see what they teach me, and I think that's gonna be an indicator of how I really drive this car. Every athlete needs a good coach. I'm an athlete, so I like to be confident that I'm not gonna crash this 200 plus thousand dollar car. <laughs> you guys have insurance, right? <laughs> Car for the next day and a half. Hey, are you Hi. my teacher, coach? Coach, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we're teacher. Nice to meet you, Lola. Nice How to meet you. Too. Just looking at this car, I was intimidated. We can head to the course now. I'll do some demonstrations to show you in different settings, and then we'll get you driving. Okay, great. And I was thinking, okay, like I don't know if I'll be able to handle it. Gosh, I'm like nervous. So just pull away, first gear, second, just small turns, and then a firm brake. Oh my gosh, that's so and bring beautiful. It to stop. This is the ultimate test. Let's do it, Lola. Okay. Can you do this? Full power. The coaching I had that they put for all the drivers, it's really cool how they walk you through it, and then you're able to kind of really feel just how fun it is once you get the reps in. Now straight to the wheel, more power. That's it, that's the best you're taking that. Yes. More gas, more power. On the straightaway, you can just mash the gas and you're feeling all the speed. But what was more addictive to me was being with the coach and he's telling me these perfect lines and trying to get the lines and getting to really know the car and feel the car. The line is the most crucial thing. Like, you could have the best car in the world on the wrong lines and it wouldn't work properly. Yeah. Some of the corners do feel like very similar when you're in a bobsled, even you weren't even going that fast, but like I can tell the angles of them and like the lines we're trying to achieve. Um, so I'm curious to see once I am able to get the speed up a little bit more, if it's gonna feel like an Olympic bobsled race. Off the brakes, turn, hold it there. That's what you need. That's good. So Andre was really trying to challenge me of just being on the edge and to get to that point. Turn, hold it on that lock there, that's what you need. Straighten up, more power, that's it. You're trying to get all the speed and make sure that you're approaching these curves and keeping the speed but not spinning out of control. And when you do, when you're able to execute and take all that speed and not lose it and just, oh, you feel alive, you're just like, Ah, yes! <laughs> you must have enjoyed that. That was your best session by far. Yeah, that was fun. It flowed much nicer. You were real, real smooth. Your lines were starting to be more fluid. Yeah, good job. Thank you. It's cool. It was intense. Starting to finally feel the speed of this thing. And it's, it's addictive. I mean, man, I've been in some incredible races in my life, and the adrenaline rush you get on that is just like as if you were in a, an Olympic race and you're trying to just be full, like fully attentive and trying to handle everything that's coming at you. Uh, it's, it's a rush. It's a rush of your life. <laughs> the McLaren 600 LT is, is perfect.
It's fast, it's sleek, it's beautiful. It's got the horsepower, but it just, oh, it wants you to just go. And you know what's crazy though is, I was so focused on the driving. I never got to check out the radio. <laughs> So I got really comfortable with the McLaren very quickly and that's what was just shocking to me because I, you know, this is my first time in a high performance car and I was really nervous. But every time I went around the track I got more and more comfortable and the progression was like I couldn't believe it. I mean I was pretty much driving Miss Daisy. Did I give you whiplash? <laughs> no, that's years of but yeah, being in the car. And then I went from that to like, maybe be GT wow. racer. I'm lying. <laughs> I can't be that good. Off the brakes, turning, that's real good. That braking's the best you've done, Lolo. More, more power. I was worried, like, after track, what hobby I would kind of pick up that would give me this kind of adrenaline rush. Because I, I've been on the edge in so many races for a lot of my life. And then after today, I was like, this could totally be the perfect hobby for just anyone who wants to just have that great adrenaline rush or they just want something that just makes them feel free. I had a blast out there. There's only a few things in life that you're like smiling ear to ear when you finish, your heart's racing and you just feel free. And that's one of them. That McLaren is, I mean, why bucket list, bucket list.